Don't even think about calling this a Sebring. Olivier Francois, the new president and CEO of Chrysler, says they stopped calling it the Sebring the second they drove it. So let's take the new Chrysler 200 for a drive and see if he's right. Perhaps my favorite feature of the new 200 is a steering wheel. For a car that starts at $19,000, it feels like it's out of a car that starts at $25,000. The 200 comes with two engine choices, a 2.4 liter four cylinder and a very potent 283 horsepower V6. With the V6 under the hood, you better expect plenty of torque steer under hard acceleration. The V6 283 horsepower on the 200 is something amazing. Um, six uh, six speed transmission on everything. Uh, a few months will come uh, even uh, with a dual drive clutch transmission, which is absolutely unique uh, in this segment, and that's the first Fiat part uh, to be imported uh, on an American uh, car. Think of the Chrysler 200 as a Sebring that Chrysler should have built in the first place. With revised, well, almost everything, the Sebring takes a big step into the 21st century. And the town country, the 200, and the future 300 will become Lancias. So, no doubt, uh, we cannot uh, brand as a Lancia car which are not perfect in terms of quality and, uh, more importantly, perfect in terms of uh, drivability. Perfection is a pretty strong word, but with a new European styled interior, the Chrysler 200 is much improved. So is the Chrysler 200 an Italian Lancia in American sweatpants? Well, not really, but you know what? It's good enough and it's new enough that it deserves its own name. Roman Micah, reporting for TFLcar.com.